Hot news. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to a Monday episode of Hot News. Big thanks to everybody who showed up on yesterday's video and just offered your support and encouragement for the fact that Reese and Catlin are leaving. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can check out yesterday's video right up there. But today, we've got some hot news where we're going to be talking about how Big Navi runs big fast. We're also going to talk about the best looking GPU that's out on the market. And Tesla might be screwing over customers with a new return policy. Let's go ahead and get into that after we talk about today's video sponsor. Hey, friends. Today's video is brought to you by Keeps. I don't know if you know this, but two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they hit 35. It's something I'm keeping an eye out for. And the best way to prevent that hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair, which is where Keeps comes in. You used to have to go to the doctor's office to get a hair loss prescription, but now thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and you can get your hair loss medication delivered right to your home. They make it easy and deliver your medication every three months so you don't have to worry about going to the pharmacy or anything like that. And especially during this day and age hey that's I, I love deliver to my door it's the best thing ever keeps offers generic versions of the only two fda approved hair loss products out there you may have tried them before but never for this price so make sure you're preventing your hair loss keeps takes about four to six months to see results so it's important to act fast the sooner you start using keeps the more hair you'll save Find out why Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors and why over 100,000 men trust Keeps for their hair loss prevention. If you're ready to take action to prevent hair loss, you can go to keeps.com forward slash UFD and save 50% off your first order with them. Again, that's keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com forward slash UFD. Prevent your hair loss, my friends. Okay, friends, let's talk about Big Navi. Navi 21 XT apparently is going to be running at 2.4 gigahertz. This is coming out from a source who indeed unveils the fact that the Navi 21 XL likely will be clocked around 2100 to 2200 megahertz, and the Navi 21 XT will be clocking at 2.2 to 2.4 gigahertz, which, in case you're not familiar, is tremendously faster than a lot of the cards on the market. In case you can't remember the RTX 3080 debacle that happened just a couple of weeks ago, those cards were struggling to hit 2 gigahertz, depending on the setup that you had there. So AMD coming out with something that runs at a tremendously faster clock speed, which could help potentially explain how AMD might end up in the RTX 3080 level with what we're calling Big Navi or Navi 21 XT. The 6900 XT is the expected version of that. According to this leaker, they're saying that the boost clocks on these cards will likely be higher on the AIB partner models than the reference. But just so you remember, it, it probably will only be reference at launch. As far as we've heard behind the scenes, AMD will not have anything besides reference until the end of the year. So we're probably going to have limited stock with only one selection, and it's going to be the reference card. That's the, at least the idea that we're facing going forward. However, this isn't the first time that we've heard that RDNA 2 is going to clock tremendously high. I will point you to the PS5's clock speed, which is going to be 2.233 gigahertz, and that is on an APU that is in a console. So if the lighter version of RDNA 2 is able to hit 2.2 gigahertz, I can kind of see the big full-fledged big Navi being able to to do 2.4. It's not necessarily such a far-fetched scenario. It's also not a far-fetched scenario is that miners are taking all of the Radeon RX cards, at least according to my drivers, it says that XFX China has sold all of their 580s, 590s, 5600 XTs, and 5700 XTs, which are all out of stock, to mining farms. So miners coming back, mining Ethereum, and it appears that XFX as well as other companies likely might be drop shipping their cards to them without going through retail channels. So miners taking your cards, my friends, and not not the youngin ones, the... the Okay, moving on. Let's talk quickly about the fact that EVGA released a BIOS update for their RTX 3080 for the Win 3 Ultra Edition, which is now going to allow you to hit a power limit of 450 watts, which is obviously a lot of power because the 3080s are usually capped at 320 to 340. So this BIOS update is primarily only for extreme overclockers who actually are going to put it under liquid nitrogen. You're more than likely not going to see a benefit when it comes to air cooling, but that's a lot of added juice that EVGA is adding. What's well, a lot of added juice to my heart Oh my goodness, I want this card so badly. Asus showcasing the RTX 3090 Strix Gundam Edition. We talked about Gundam Edition last week, but it was only supposed to be coming to the 1660 uh, Super or TI, I forget which card. But now the 3090 Gundam Hot. This is... Ah! Woo! Yes! I want one. Ah!
they're probably not going to bring this out to the US. I'm very, very sad that we're not going to be able to pick one of those up. But one the card that I might be able to pick up, one of the better looking cards that's out on the market is the Gigabyte Vision card, which up until this point was only for the 3080. They are so announcing plans for the 3090 and 3070 versions of the Vision. I absolutely love the aesthetic of the Vision, so I'm glad to see it's coming out to more. Now let's retract to Asus for a second because we're going to be talking about their Vivo Flip 14, which is apparently an Ultrabook that they're going to be releasing with Tiger Lake CPUs, but also likely going to be one of the very first models or units that's going to ship with Intel's DG1 graphics. So that would be pretty exciting for Intel getting into the graphics game. I do have to say, I've been reviewing this Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 Tiger Lake notebook, and man, I hate it. Anyways, so hopefully the DG1 might be able to make a little something better out of Intel notebooks, but oof, oof, full review coming soon. Don't like that. And people might not like Tesla's new return policy because they've completely removed any mention on their website of a seven day return policy that they used to offer. You can see that Elon Musk here saying that you can order online in two minutes and return in seven days for a full refund, or alternatively, it was for a thousand miles. But now they've completely stripped that from the website. There's no word as to whether or not Tesla has officially removed that trial period with the car, which was supposed to give people peace of mind with buying a car that's brand new maybe tesla found that very few people were returning them in that seven day period or they were finding that now that they're a more established brand they don't necessarily need to give people a trial period so they're not gonna but what they are doing is apparently updating the model 3 and the model y they're going to get a new update for their 2021 versions as well as adding some range into the existing versions so the long range model y will be 325 miles with the model 3 having more miles than its previous version it seems like there's just an all-around upgrade coming to the cars even if the prices aren't going up which is good news so tesla taketh and tesla giveth away that's not how that phrase goes, but it also goes that apparently SSD prices are expected to drop by 10 to 15% in the next quarter, which is actually good news. We've been seeing prices steadily decline over the year, so I'm happy to see that prices might continue to go down. But what's also going down is that Xbox has decided that maybe with their acquisition of Bethesda, they don't necessarily need to put Elder Scrolls 6 or Starfield or any of their other games onto the PS5 because, you know, who cares? That's essentially what Phil Spencer said in an interview where he said the deal was not done to take games away from another player base like that. But I'll also say in the model, when I think about where people are going to be playing and the number of devices that we had, and we have xCloud and PC and Game Pass in our console base, I don't have to go ship those games on any other platform other than the platforms that we support in order to kind of make the deal work for us, whatever that means. So that's encouraging for the future for PS5 owners. You should have probably bought an Xbox or you need to get xCloud for your PC or you need to get Game Pass. You should have thought of that, console players. Disgusting. Disgusting! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Speaking of console players, there was a firmware update that came out recently for the PS4, which introduced voice recording, which people were very confused about and said that it was gonna be primarily a PS5 feature. Well, Sony clarified that because people were like, we don't want you spying on us, Sony. You're listening to our voice chats. Sony came out and was like, hold on, no. The people you're in voice chat with are going to be spying on your voice chat, but it's not going to be the full voice chat that's going to be spied on. It's only going to be the 40 second clip that they want to take for submitting it for moderation in case there's some sort of harassment. So it's not the entire voice chat that's being moderated. It's not the entire voice chat that's being recorded. You can take a 40 second sample in order to provide a report for harassment, which actually sounds less egregious than what it was originally made out to be by certain people who read the firmware update because it was very ambiguous. There wasn't a clear defining what the heck is this for. So 40 seconds and it's only for reporting purposes, not, hey, I'm just going to I'm just going to call log all of this. Thank you. Speaking of ambiguous, I don't know what Nanoleaf's doing, but they decided that they wanted to go odd with them announcing new mini triangles and other things to their shape light panels. You can see here that they used to just be like triangles and now they're triangles with mini triangles with hexagons and then you can create this amorphous blob of whatever this is supposed to be. This looks not great in my opinion, but you can buy them. So $200 for every single starter kit, the hexagon, the triangle or the mini triangles only 120 in case you want mini looking squidgy boys. Hmm. Rounded edges on triangles, beautiful. 
Speaking of rounded edges, not sure how that segue works, but Sony has announced their spatial reality display that allows you to see 3D objects on a display without 3D glasses because it uses eye tracking to render two separate images to your eyes to make sure that you're seeing something that's hologram-esque inside the actual thing that you're looking at. And that's it, it, that's the general gist. They don't have a working prototype. They just kind of announced it. And Google announcing that they're going to have a new Humda search feature, which heck yes, I absolutely want this. You just you just hum the tune and it tries to find out what you're humming and it's kind of like you know shazam or soundhound where you do that but now you can do i don't even know if that's a real song but you can hum it and google might give you a result and i'm gonna hum on out of here that's the end of this episode of hot news don't forget to check out today's video sponsor don't forget that today's video is brought to you by Keeps. Keeps.com forward slash UFD. Save 50% off of an already affordable product. Keeps.com forward slash UFD. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed. Stay up to date on all of our tech related content. I'm Brett. You've been Hot News. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.